Driving it, I see the spit on the windshield. Sticks from the jungle and shit when I'm in. Craving these shoes, well, when I get them, money don't really inside me. I've been here, put so pretty, I went in with no condom. PTSD got my hand on the chopper. I made a friend when I went to the doctor. One nigga play with this shit, I'm a pop. Pull up. Carol, with Poppy 2, Cat Angus, your boy. So friend, you get it. Hey, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. And if you rock with me, I need you to hit that motherfucking bell, nigga. Hey man, off the real, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna broke my chair the other day. I knocked the wheel off that bitch, now I could fall any second, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to stay still. But anyway, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I told y'all I'm doing a giveaway at 300k. I say 300k? Yeah, 300k. Roll to 300k. I'm giving away $3,000 to three people. All you got to do is subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to KD2Live and that's it. And this go for subscriber on from number one to 300,000. If just so happen you win and you ain't subscribed to that second channel, I'm not going to feel bad for you because that's the rules, my nigga. You got to be subscribed to both channels and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we finna knock out seven rappers who got checked by goons. We finna knock the video out. If y'all know any other entertaining videos y'all want me to react to, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be in the comments. I'm active down there. So y'all comment. I'm going to come down there and chop it up with y'all. Drop them in the comments. Go to my spam, Instagram. I don't drop shit. And send me videos in the DM. Interact with me over there because I'm not on my main Instagram. I got to detox from social media and Instagram world and all that. And I only got that second channel for y'all. That second Instagram for y'all, I mean. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get into the video, man. I ain't even finna talk too much. We finna knock it out. I ain't gonna lie, I miss y'all niggas. No homo, no weird, no funny shit. It ain't no, I am not Aiden Ross. Ain't no rainbows in the background. Ain't no Lil Nas X playing. I miss y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Females too. I miss everybody that watched me. All my supporters, I appreciate y'all. Like, for real, bro. Like, that's why I had to get back on here and drop these videos for y'all. And this time we going crazy, bro. 300k. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's knock the video out, bro. I love for that. Let's send them in the shit. Y'all boys, let it, let's get him in. These are times rappers got caught up in the wrong hood and checked by goons. And we got to start What's it, by with goons? the baby. Because in 2018, the baby was in East Atlanta filming a music video for his song, 21. He linked up with a film team and got to work. But in the middle of working, a bunch of goons rolled up and tried to press him. The film crew shot the whole interaction. And you can see a bunch of dudes walk up to the spot while the baby's trying to work. They stood across the street and started questioning the baby, asking him where his permission slip was since he was in their hood. The baby told the dudes nobody signed the permission slip for him. And one of the goons clapped back and said, I gotta see something. Yeah, this is my city, baby. Ain't nobody signed a permission slip for me. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh yeah? I ain't know that. Okay. The baby was outnumbered in this situation, but he didn't back down at all, since the dudes didn't come at him with respect. Check out what I'm saying. I ain't no peewee though, so it don't, it don't go like that. It gotta be respect. It gotta be respect. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. It gotta be respect. Look, nah, nah, nah. Y'all just come, y'all get respect. Y'all would've got the utmost respect. You see what I say? What's good with y'all? Y'all all right? And thankfully, things calmed down before anything popped off. And just a month after this happened, the baby a dude in Walmart who tried robbing him. But he got off on this case since it was self-defense. And in 2019, oh, yeah. DJ Vlad asked the baby in an interview if he thought the situation in Atlanta could have gone wrong. And the baby told them, A bunch of guys from the neighborhood show up mm -hmm. and ask you for a permission slip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they actually use those words. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. So I mean, he said, I mean, what is your permission slip? Did you feel that it could have it gone wrong? That guy was on their side. His dad was on his side, and it worked out perfect for him. But the baby situation is nothing compared to what happened with NLE Chopper or Soldier Boy when getting checked. First, let's talk about the time nah, NBA so Young Boy down. got checked while shooting a video in LA because he was filming in an area called Watts. And apparently, some locals weren't having it, so they pulled up to press him and his people. A video of what went down shows Young Boy angrily walking around a crowd of people and repeating, You heard me, Big E, while a car drives by full of dudes hanging out oh. the windows yelling at him. And that's when someone in the NBA crew allegedly pulled out his rod. The dudes in the car dug down and drove off, and the crowd watched. I forgot this nigga pulled up with a balloon. Guy, why you hanging out the window with a balloon like that? That man got a balloon. He just left a nephew birthday party want to come. Man, relax, fool. In the scene, ran up. Running low? From break room supplies to cleaning products and more. I like the ad. It's a little jolly vibe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
The video cuts off there, and thankfully, nothing bad happened in this situation. But that wasn't the only time Youngboy almost had an issue in LA. Later huh. that same month, a dude rapping Bounty Hunter Watts Bloods tried to press Youngboy while he was walking down the street. It's not clear how it started, but Youngboy and the other dude started yelling back and forth with each other while Youngboy's partner held him back. Another video shows Youngboy and the dude yelling at each other again at a different spot. Young boy was trying to get at the dude. I ain't gonna lie though. Like, if that's how we coming, I respect that. But the holding, holding me back, shit, we that, that we did in middle school, guy. Like, if, if it really was that, if we really was on that type of time, I'm gonna tell my nigga watch back. Like, don't be holding me back. I understand it's a superstar. And you got it, man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm tell bro. Hey, why? Hey, hold up, hold up. Watch back. What you trying to do, bro? Like, you trying to fight? Like, you trying to squabble? And this ain't on no super tough shit. Like, trying to be too hard. I'm a grown man, bro. So, watch back. I felt like if YB was really trying to get busy right there, he would have told him, watch back. Watch back. We ain't finna do they holding me back. Nah, watch back. If you trying to squabble, we can squabble. That's what you want to do, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's going to be. We not finna be holding me back and shit like that. Because then it come off as the middle school game where niggas holding me back. And nah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just me. But his partner held him back, and the other dude wasn't really trying to make a move. The video cuts off before the situation ends, but nothing really happens since Youngboy's team was there to keep it cool. And speaking of Youngboy, he also has goons all over the world who aren't afraid to check people for him. Never because said after Youngboy dropped the, the song, Bring the Hook, dissing O Block and King Von, everyone close to Von has something to say about it. I and after DJ Von. Academics made a tweet saying NBA Youngboy on Demon Time right now, it made things worse because Lil Reese responded by saying, that ain't no Demon Time, he just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. And Ali Chopper then agreed with Lil Reese saying, I stamped that. Chopper was basically letting it be known which side he was rocking with in this beef after he made that tweet. But in Ali Chopper probably ain't realized that young boy has I know he finna do this 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 scene where the niggas was in the airport. I don't know if you want to call this a goon or what. Of the craziest fan bases in the world. So while Chopper was at the airport waiting to catch his flight, one of Young Boy's fans slash wannabe goons pulled up on Chopper while recording. Asked him if he's in LE Chopper. Yeah, are you in LE? I asked you mad times. The fan then swung at Chopper and the screen went black. And Chopper it, it and the guy got like into that. it a little. And after all of that ended, the fan was seen talking on the phone, explaining what he just did to NLE Chopper. <laughs> he just beat up NLE Chopper, the rapper. Oh. Ain't about nothing. Ain't big NBA, big 4K trail over here. Y'all feel me? Yeah, he just knocked out a rapper. And from the looks of it, Chopper didn't get knocked out. He even addressed the situation on social media, saying, It's a difference from getting hit and falling than fighting in flip flops and falling on your own. I feel. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all little fanboys is something crazy. You little niggas go to sleep in thongs, bro. Y'all wear panties, fool. Like, y'all pajamas pinks and, pink and got roses on them. You niggas got a little Hello Kitty on your, on your background. If you walk around and scream, Big 4K Trey or, or Big O Block, anything like that, gang, you, you fruity. You know what I'm saying? Simple. You need a tattoo over on the top of your butt. Like right on the, on the lower back. You need a tattoo. You need a tattoo the game you claim. 4K trade, O block, or OTL, whatever. Because you y'all fans. You see how he just beat up a rapper. Eh, gang, you fruited out. Your jaws hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like that's and I would have beat little dude that. Ain't no way I would have let some Corbin Blue looking at that nigga beat me. Boy, I would have folded your head. I ain't gonna lie to you. In the airport, I know you ain't got no weapon. That's why y'all niggas, if you a, I ain't even finna do these type video and go talk too much. You know what I'm saying? My 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 view on shit is different now because I'm a grown ass nigga. Not little kids no more. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my young viewers, they probably grow out of my content because I got a different outlook now. Y'all niggas got to learn a, a comeback. Learn a, a, a style of fighting. You a man, bro. You need to know how to have some type of fight skill, something. I don't know if it's martial arts. UFC, combo kicking, whatever, you need to know how to fight. It's no reason you niggas be seven foot tall and then get out there like this. It's it's pathetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I be studying and learning a martial art. So anytime me to beat a nigga ass and they think I'm standing over here weighing 159 and I'm just a little nigga, I'm going to knock your ass out. I promise you. For sure. 
Throwing a punch, I ain't get hit till I was on the way down and my backpack 20 pounds. Chopper even spoke on the situation a little in an interview with Provoke since they wanted to know more about how things went down. I ain't even feel like doing all that. And so Bone, he said I was scared, he must jump at me. Now there I hit it right in his mouth, came back with the left, hit him in the mouth again. Then when we squared up again, I swung through the left, hit him again. When I threw my right, my flip flop, like <laughs> my foot. Like, I just felt my ankle just give out. Quando Rondo made headlines after being involved with the passing of King Von. But that ain't the only issue he's had in the streets. Back in 2019, he was allegedly checked by some Hoovers in LA. Quando used to claim rolling 60s neighborhood crip, but when the Hoovers checked him at the mall, he told them he wasn't from anywhere. So they let him slide, but later, a picture surfaced on the internet, Quando throwing up gang signs in LA. That's when a dude named Alshon Martin hopped on IG to air Quando out. But one thing about you, bro, when I catch you, I'm a bitch, bro. I don't get who behind you. I, I, I see a couple of your people trying to tap in and hit me through my DMs. It's not working, bro. Just keep that same energy. You throwing up the set over there, throw it up everywhere you go. Then in August 2022, Quando huh. was in LA when three gunmen pulled up on him and started firing his way. Quando made it out without getting armed, but his homie Lil Pab unfortunately passed away on the scene. After Pab passed, Quando posted his IG story and said he was leaving the crip life behind. He said, my main man's gone and a lot more. I'm cool on a lot of, if I feel like you are not with me, there's no reason for me to be holding on to you. No need to shake your hand or fake something. You know what's crazy? Quando you know what's crazy? I know I got a lot of niggas that watch, cause bro, my 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 like my support, you know what I'm saying? Like my what what I want what I want to call y'all niggas like. What's the word for like? It's a fan base for sure, but like, just like the the people that's behind me, fool. Like we army strong, right? like real shit. But it's a lot of real niggas. I got a lot of like I attract like the hood type of people. You know what I'm saying? Like when I go in the mall. Niggas walking up to me, dap me up. I'm like, damn, fool, I wouldn't even think of me. You watch YouTube. I'm thinking you outside active or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they could just feel it on me. Like, they they feel it. So I attract them. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know some of y'all probably bang or whatever y'all do. So don't take this personal. But in my opinion, all them niggas don't, gang, niggas don't. If, if it ain't your immediate set, like, and I don't even, I don't even vouch for game bang. If you want me to be honest, like, I'm just a fly ass nigga and I move the way I move. You know what I'm saying? And I never wanted a big homie or a head hunch or a nigga over me. That's the case, I go get a job. I don't like being nobody over me. Like, you should have a problem with 12 then. Why you got a problem with 12? Your big homie run you. Even though he probably ain't, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, you would claim a worldwide gang or something. And them niggas don't give a f about you what? If it if they ain't from like your neighborhood and like your little homies around the corner, boy don't go to Nebraska talking about you bang this and you bang Crip and you bang blood. Okay, but we 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 Nebraska bloods, fool. We Nebraska Crips. We ain't from over there. We don't I ain't I don't got no connection with you. It's no love. You feel me? So if you gonna rip something, if you gonna rip anything, start your own like with your own your own people you know what i'm saying now like i said i don't condone any i'm telling you niggas not to bang but if you're gonna do something start something with your own people don't go start something that been started by a nigga you don't even know you know what i'm saying that's just my opinion fool like and i got family members that's bloods and crips so you know what i'm saying like i said i ain't talking crazy about that i'm just saying if you're gonna start something start your own you know what I mean? Talk about when some goons tried pressing Lil Baby. But first, we have to talk about Soldier Boy because he's always down for drama. Since in 2017, he was beefing with Chris Brown and wanted to prove he still was respected in the streets. So he pulled up to the hood on IG Live, but it didn't go down like he thought it would, and he ended up getting checked. Soldier tried putting his arm around the dude. I ain't gonna lie. But the other guy obviously wasn't feeling it and told Soldier Boy to get off of him. That's when Soldier put his phone down and acted like he was gonna square up to hit with the guy. But the video cut off before anything really happened. But that ain't the only time Soldier Boy got pressed because back in 2019. A hey, video that video probably on my page still. That big guy damn near me million view. That nigga Soldier say. That nigga saw just say, like, what's up, man? Man, you friendly as hell, boy. Watch out, bro. Yo came out of Casanova that. checking him after they bumped into each other at Sirius XM. Apparently, Soulja had yelled at a lady before the video started, and Casanova told him, You screamed at a lady, you buck. 
And it looked like the situation was about to heat up. It don't matter, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect to Casanova, but I read through this, bro. You, you, you big, you big man in Lil Bro, cause you know Lil Bro was was a smaller nigga in the situation. This guy, this a chance for a rap nigga to talk to another rap nigga. The camera on, and it look like it's from behind you to make headlines or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say no disrespect. I'm just calling it from what I'm seeing. If this me, I ain't gonna lie. Homie, was I talking to you, bro? I understand I'm I was talking to female, I'm talking to somebody. Was I talking to you, fool? If I'm not talking to you, watch out, bro. I ain't gonna lie, watch out, bro. And no disrespect, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a grown man, man. I, I could be two feet tall, bro. Watch out. You gonna talk to me with respect, bro. I understand like, it sound like respect, but he checking them, fool. You not checking me, nigga. Fuck, we at the airport. That ain't the only motherfucker that's checking me. You ain't checking me. Soldier Boy's security wanted Casanova to calm down, but luckily for Soldier and his crew, nothing serious. I know, down. luckily but for now, Soldier. Let's move well, on I, to I, when I, some I, goons in St. Louis tried checking Lil Baby because Lil <laughs> Baby was getting ready for his show and lacing his shoes up. But the goon saw him and started talking crazy. Nah, so Lil Baby it. responded to the dude saying, What the talking about? Since he didn't know what was going on. But the goons were originally mad since Lil. You do got cheap people with respect though, bro. When you pay for a feature and we fuck you at a certain time, I ain't your woman, Lil bro. baby was in their hood time. and didn't let them know what he was doing. You wrong. That ain't what happened. And little baby slip. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That ain't what happened, bro. You got the content wrong. What happened was Shit, from what I what I seen, I don't want to get it wrong, but I'm just saying what you said is inaccurate from what the original story was. Homie had a feature, he paid somebody for a feature. Well, somebody paid him for a feature, and when he got there to do the video and probably get the back end, he showed up hours late. That's why he got the sprinter right there. You know what I'm saying? He showed up late, and they felt some type of way, like nigga, we've been out here waiting on dude forever. And he said something, and he was like, nigga, I ain't, nigga, I'm here, like what? You got to treat niggas with respect, bro. Like, if I pay you for... Like, for example, bro. I'm always late. If you pay me for a feature, and I'm nine times out of ten, I'm going to be late to the studio session. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come in like a real nigga, and I'm going to let you know, hey, my fault, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll run it behind. I'll run it late. My fault, fool. Because I'm not, I'm not treating it like I'm bigger than you, and you're supposed to just be beneath me and wait on me, and I get there when I get there. No. Because what make a motherfucker famous? Them getting money. What made these people famous? Look at Glorilla video, F nigga free. She out there looking, toe up. She get money, all of a sudden she a celebrity. It's the money. So just cause you got more money don't make you no different than no nigga. I'ma treat you with respect, bro. My fault, fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I ain't got that for you cause I don't know you. We doing a feature. What's up with it? My fault, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm running late, got caught at the light. My, my bad, my nigga. But anyway, we can still, I, I throw an hour up there so we can, you know what I'm saying? Extend the session and we can add another hour to it. Respect, bro. Don't just come in there and make a nigga feel like they waiting on you. I ain't your girlfriend. That is ground, even though he wasn't in his hood. And thankfully, nothing bad happened. But I can't say the same about Detroit scam rapper TJX6. Because TJ was very popular in 2019 after his song Dark Web blew up, where he talks about stealing identities and committing credit card fraud. He even recorded videos of him dropping checks at Wells Fargo. Just got out today. Back on my ground. So cops is gonna stop. Hey man, ain't never had a haircut. You need a haircut, that's what you need, bro. Back in your niggas, terrible, boy. I hate niggas with hair like that. <laughs> Real shit, like, go get a line up, dog. But the scamming didn't take long to catch up to him because a couple of years ago, TJ posted Lil Baby's ID on his Instagram and said he was going to get rich off his name since he had all of his information. Fans warned him to take the post down since Baby is well respected in the streets. But TJ didn't listen. He kept it up. Then a few days later, TJ was shopping in Lenox Mall in Atlanta when a bunch of goons ran up on him. A viral video came out showing TJ running away while the dudes tried to put their hands on him. No one was harmed in the situation, but TJ... I was just listening to Duffel Bad Boy earlier. That boy said, I ain't never ran from a nigga and I damn sure ain't about to pit today to start running. 8-6, boy. 
Yo ass just ran with X6 amount of speed. Fast as hell. A few like days later, TJ was shopping in Linux Mall human. in Atlanta we'll when a bunch shit. of goons ran up on him. A viral video came out showing TJ. Boy, yo ass, Jiff, you swift as hell. Boy, you should have been an NFL player. Look at him, got off the line. He broke it. Look at him. Running away. He missed all contact. But the dudes tried to put their hand. Bad footer and he looked back. Ah, oh, X, boy, that ain't no good look for you, boy. You outnumbered, but they were having real life catch up with him. No one was harmed in the situation. But TJ later hopped on IG Live and said he wasn't going to hang around to get whooped since he was outnumbered. Six nine also Makes had sense, some problems with some Florida goons because on March 21st, 2023, six nine was working out at an LA Fitness in Florida until some goons at the gym I spotted him, followed him into the bathroom, and started jumping him. And the guys didn't really say much. It was just on sight once they saw him. And many rappers had something to say after this happened in 6ix9ine. Because Boosie made a post saying, LMAO, snitches get stitches. A lot more rappers also laughed and joked about the situation. And I'm sure New York rappers are going to have a lot to say about this situation. But speaking of New York, check out this video to see the most disrespectful New York drill. Oh, he ain't gonna put it. It was too... It was, man, I was planning on skipping that the whole time. I thought you were finna show the footage. But uh, anyway, bro. What I was finna say, um, I ain't gonna lie, X6, I feel it though, bro. Cause what would I do in that situation? That look like nine niggas ran down. I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot of people. Nine niggas ran up on him. Probably, I ain't gonna stretch it. They probably about six niggas. With three of them just standing around, ran up on me trying to squabble. I'm by myself outnumbered. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Jay! You think you can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. If I ain't, let's say just so happen I ain't have a gun on me. Seven niggas run up on you trying to squabble. I'm not running the way he ran, bro. I'd probably bag up. Like, all right, nah, y'all niggas got it for sure. That what y'all want to do? Y'all want to do it like that? Y'all got it? I ain't running though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not running. I'm gonna let a nigga know y'all got it. I bag up. Let him know like y'all got it. But taking off sprinting is crazy. <laughs> Hell nah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man. Y'all drop a like on the video. Y'all let me know what would y'all do. And don't be hard. If you feel like you would have ran, like it's smart to run, like, hey, it ain't even worth it. I'm gonna be the bigger man. I'm gonna get gone. You know what I'm saying? If that was you would do, cop me that. Because at the end of the day, shit, you trying to live to see another day. You know what I'm saying? You win some, you lose some. But um, in my opinion, Grown man picking up speed, not playing a sport, it's crazy. I'm not running, bro. It's just my opinion. Y'all let me know. I really want to know, too. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the second channel. Remember, I told y'all about the giveaway. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I got a brand. What's some other else? Let's get it, man. Gang.